everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to unlock the bootloader on a Google Pixel device. Now this video is going to be a little bit generic because this first part, unlocking the bootloader, is pretty much applicable to all of these devices. And the main thing that you need to do is enable OEM unlock. So if we go over to our phone here and just quickly go over to the settings and to get to the OEM unlock toggle, you'll need to enable the developer options. So all you have to do is go down to about phone and scroll down to the build number and tap on this build number here about four, five, seven times. And then you'll also need to enter in your pin, passcode or pattern. And once you've done that, it should say you're now a developer and then you can go back to system, tap on the advanced section and then tap on developer options. And then you should be able to see OEM unlocking right here. And all you have to do is toggle this on, enter in your pin pattern or passcode again, and then tap on enable. Sometimes you'll see that it'll be grayed out or disabled, and sometimes it'll say unavailable on carrier lock devices, and, and other times it'll say connect to the internet or, co or contact your carrier. Now with the second option, this means that your carrier has locked the ability to unlock the bootloader, or at least to enable OEM unlocking, which means you're pretty much out of luck unless you are using a Pixel 1. So the first generation Pixel or the first generation Pixel XL, you are able to use a guide to kind of bypass that. But for every other device, it means that you are out of luck if you're on this kind of option here. But if it says unavailable on carrier lock devices, I think if you pay off your phone uh, with your carrier, then you'll be able to unlock your bootloader like so. And now that you have the OEM unlocking toggle enabled, you'll also need to download the latest SDK platform tools. Now this is just Fastboot and ADB executables that you use on your computer in order to talk with your phone in its various states. So in this link, you can scroll down to the download section and click on the one that is right for your platform. I'm using Windows, so I'm going to click on the Windows one and agree with the terms and conditions and then click on download the SDK platform tools for Windows. Now save this in a location where you'll remember where it is and we'll just leave it like that. And just make sure you have the latest one. Right now it's 29.0.1 and it also shows you the month that it was released. So if you are on an older version and we'll show you how to check that later on, then you'll have to download the latest one, which is always a good idea. So I have it downloaded into my Android folder, like so. And all you have to do is open this up and in here, just extract the entire platform tools folder outside. Now I do have a video on kind of making this easier to access and I'll leave that linked down below, but you don't have to do that. You can just quickly go into the platform tools folder and you should be able to see all these files here that we'll need to use. But really we only make use of one or two of these things. So once you have that downloaded and your phone has OEM unlocking enabled, we can go straight into Fastboot. Now keep in mind the bootloader unlocking process does wipe your data, so please back up everything you have uh, right now on your phone, onto your computer, such as photos, videos, downloads, uh, your contacts, and any kind of app data, because it will be erased. Now if we go back to our phone, uh, right now it won't you know, magically erase everything now, but I'll show you when is the last time you can backtrack. So what we're going to do is tap on restart, and as soon as the screen turns black or turns off, you need to hold the volume down button and just keep holding that until you get into the bootloader screen. Alrighty, so once you're in here, our device state is locked, so that means we need to head back to our computer here. Now in our platform tools folder, we need to open up a command prompt or a PowerShell window. There are many different ways of doing so, but I think the one that is easiest is to go into the address bar once you're in the platform tools folder, click on that, and then just type in CMD, or if you like PowerShell, hit enter, and that'll open up a new command prompt window or PowerShell window with the directory changed to the platform tools so you can access the executables and the files that are inside here. Now once you have that open, I'm just going to use, oops, I'm just going to use the other one, my other console emulator, I prefer this one. So we just need to make sure that our device is connected in Fastboot or in the bootloader. So to do that, we can type in Fastboot devices, and you can see our device's serial number has come up here, which means we are connected. And if you don't get anything here after you type in Fastboot Devices, you'll need to do some additional work when it comes to the drivers. But usually, generally speaking, if you have enabled Windows Update and you can get drivers from there, 
and you haven't touched anything on your computer really to kind of prevent that, then it should come up after a few moments as a Lee Mobile device. I'll just quickly show you here under Device Manager, and let's see, it should be in Lee Mobile Android device, and it should pop up with something like this. But if you don't get something like this, and you see it's something else, you may have to right click and uninstall the device, and then just re-plug in your device afterwards. But I have, I do have some more information on that down below. Anyways, once you have Fastboot Devices open, and it says the device's serial number here, connected, we should check that our Fastboot executable is the latest version. So to do that, we can type in Fastboot, double dash, version. And you can see the latest version here, 29.0.1, and the build number, and where it is located. Now, if this command doesn't work at all, it means you probably have a really outdated version of Fastboot, and you should go back to the beginning of the video to download the latest SDK platform tools. Now, once you have that sorted, we can now actually type in the Fastboot uh, command to unlock the bootloader, which is Fastboot flashing unlock, like so. Hit enter. And you can see on our device, the thing has changed, the screen on there. And this is the part where it's your last chance to go back and to back up. So the default thing is do not unlock the bootloader and you press power to select, but we want to change it to unlock the bootloader by pressing volume down or volume up. And once you've selected that, you'll see a little warning here. Uh, this will erase your device and your phone will not pass safety net as it is, uh, but that can be changed when we install Magisk, which is gonna be pretty cool. And so all we have to do is press power with the unlock the bootloader selected here and our phone should reboot into the bootloader or either into Android, erase itself and then also um, have the bootloader unlocked. So you can see the device state here, the bootloader is unlocked now. And if we go back to our computer and we type in fastboot reboot or you can actually just press start here on the phone, our phone should turn on and it should erase itself. And you'll see the screen here. Maybe I'll just pause it for a second. And this screen here, you cannot remove it. It'll pop up every time your phone turns on. So just leave it unlocked while you're rooted or on a custom ROM. Okay, so that's just the beta program stuff. It doesn't really matter. And you can see our phone has been reset and we need to set it up again. Now at this point, if you don't plan on flashing a custom ROM or anything, you can pretty much set this all up and you'll be able to use your phone which is nice, so I'm just going to press start and kind of whiz through all this. And so the next time you go into the developer options, you'll see that OEM unlocking is disabled and it says the bootloader is already unlocked, so congratulations. You are now have a phone with an unlocked bootloader, so you can continue rooting it and doing whatever you like with it pretty much. So thanks for watching guys, and as always if you have any other questions, feel free to leave it down below in the comment section, or even better yet, head on over to Discord where we can chat about it in real time. And if you have any other questions, you can definitely ask them over there as well. So thanks for watching, guys. And as always, happy flashing.